Welcome to Soul Meds One. The meditation today will focus on bringing out the best. That is our job as Christians, is to focus on others and bring out the best, bring out what God wants them to do. So many people are just not going in the right direction, searching, and our job is to help them to be not only their best, but God's best. The thought for today, bringing out the best in others, is more fulfilling than focusing on self. Though we chase happiness, our best is found in others. The reading today will be from Colossians 4, 1 to 10. I will read the New International Reader's Version. You can read whichever version you prefer. Masters, give your slaves what is right and fair. Do it because you know that you have a master in heaven. Give a lot of time and effort to prayer. Always be watchful and thankful. Pray for us too. Pray that God will give us an opportunity to preach our message. Then we can preach the mystery of Christ. Because I preached it, I am being held by chains. Pray that I will preach it clearly as I should. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let the words you speak always be full of grace. Learn how to make your words what people want to hear. Then you will know how to answer everyone. Tychicus will tell you all the news about me. He is a dear brother. He is a faithful worker. And he serves the Lord together with us. I am sending him to you for one reason. I want you to know what is happening here. I want him to encourage you and make your heart strong. He is coming with Onesimus, our faithful and dear brother. He is one of you. They will tell you everything that is happening here. Aristarchus is in prison with me. He sends you his greetings, and so does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas. You have been given directions about him. If he comes to you, welcome him. Colossians is a great book of encouragement. Paul writes some special things close to the end here. Today we have bosses, not servants. Well, that's not totally true. There are many in the world today that have masters because they are slaves. Slavery is not a part of maybe our world, but it is a part of many, both in the church and around the world. Christian bosses are often worse than non-Christian ones. Maybe because the expectation to be different. Christians should have a higher standard. What Paul writes, I think, is very important. In verse 2, he says, Give yourselves to prayer at all times. I know it is common for people, at least in Korea, to get up early, and they often struggle through the day to perform in their job efficiently. What Paul is saying here in another book is that prayer is an attitude we need to keep. It is an open connection or access portal to God so we can make the right decisions at any time. As we come close to the end of our series, these ideas come together. We talked about focusing on others' praise to God as a motive in our worship. We looked at crucifying our ideals and desires on the cross, and having an attitude of prayer is key to all of these. If we are in an attitude of prayer, we will not be easily swayed away from our purpose. When we have an active portal of prayer, we will be able to see our culture through His, God's eyes. And if we are to change our culture, we need to view it as the way God sees it. God is not a complicated person. He only desires all people to worship Him and only Him. 
Christianity is often seen as a negative because we get these ideas mixed up. We find Christians who choose to follow Christ merely for the benefit and they're not secure. Insecure people make terrible bosses. Secure and Christ persons make great bosses. The second point is to pray for an opening to share the gospel. Some preachers preach you need to have a certain number of people and scripture does not say this. First, we do not save people, God does. Second, if we have an attitude of prayer, we need to pray for the right time. And trying to make opportunities often ends in failure and frustration. Let God bring them because they are ready. Let God choose the people to speak to while living life in a state of worship. This works so much better. I need to talk to people whom God has prepared to listen. God gives gifts for that reason. We are not called to save the world. We are called to bring the best out of people. The best means to exercise the power of God to the people whom God has prepared. This is where we see God works best. God knows everyone and can function best when we let Him do his job. Our job is to be ready through the constant open portal of our hearts and minds of prayer. We are to be the flowing of the power of God to our culture. The problem is we are impatient and jump ahead of God. This is where we find Paul's third point. In verse 5, he says, Be wise in your behavior to those who are outside. We need not remember people We need not remember people see God through us. If we are to change our culture, we need to show them the real God, more than just an alternative, and the difference between religion and a relationship with God. That takes a constant connection so God can empower us. For reflection, we have three questions. Does God bring out the best in you and you the best in those around you? It's a really good question. Because that's what we are trying to do. It is because of our relationship with Jesus Christ God brings out the best in us, and therefore we bring out the best in others, reciprocal. Question two, how often do we make decisions based on bringing on the best in others? So often we are selfish. So this question is very good. The last one, how would focusing on the best in others build up my how would it change their focus on their ideas about God, your church, your relationship? For the prayer, Lord, I fill your ears with so many complaints. I want so much and pretend to be the master. My desire for you is to be the master, as I am unable to achieve anything without your control.